Hi, I'm Ashley and welcome to Tip Ticks, where I share some of the useful tips and tricks that I've learned in my over a decade career of being a presentation designer for large scale events all the way to small business meetings. I'll be starting with the basics today on how to assign fonts and colors to your master presentation deck. Let's get started. So if I just open up a new blank file from PowerPoint, this is what I'll see. I'm going to make a couple of quick text slides just to use as examples. I go up to layout and pick a few different formats and I'll just fill them in with some basic text for now without changing anything from the default. So now that we have those slides ready, let's go up to view and click on slide master. Here you can see we have all of those pre-built layouts from the layout tab. We're going to click on the largest one at the top, the main master layout. Changes made to this one will change all the submasters below. If you make changes to any of these sub layouts, those changes will only be seen on that particular layout and won't affect any of the others. So for making tweaks to the main theme, you want to use that top master. So again, I'm going up to fonts here and let's say I wanted Constantia and Franklin Gothic book. So I'm going to click that and you see it changed on this theme master. It changed on the sub masters as well. So let's go up back to the menu, close master and see what it did to our slides. So now it has changed the font on every single one of our slides. But say I wanted to use a custom font. Well, I will go back up to view slide master and click on the main theme again. And let's click on this headline text and select it and go to the home tab at the top and go in and change this font. So say maybe I like this serif font. So I'm going to do Bodoni bold, just a little bit different of a serif font. There we go. And the main text right here, again, I hit command A to select all the text within that text box. Let's go with Century Gothic. Maybe not the greatest font pairing, but this is just for an example. So once again, you can see that the fonts have changed on all of the submasters. And if I go back to slide master, close master, the changes will have pulled through to my main deck as well. Everything is now exactly the font that I want. Well, what happens if I want to add another text box to this slide? I go to text box, draw a new text box and start typing. Well, the font in this box is definitely not Century Gothic. It's still pulling from the previous font theme that I had selected before I had customized it. So now I have two different body copy fonts on this one slide. And that's not great. One of my biggest pet peeves is getting a presentation deck where there's a gazillion different fonts. It just looks messy and unprofessional. So to fix this, you select the text box and change it to the font that you want. In this case, that's Century Gothic. Once that's changed, right click on the text box and click set as default text box. Now, when I add any additional text boxes, they will automatically be formatted with this new font that I picked. So now that we've covered master fonts, let's move on to colors. I'm going to make a new blank slide and simply just add some squares. I'll set each of these squares to a different theme color from the current default theme. So go to shape fill and just pick a color from the options it gives. So these colors are fine, but I find them a little bit harsh for my presentation and I want something a little bit more muted. So I can go into my master and change it, but I actually don't have to. If I go into the design tab right at the top and you see here, you have a whole bunch of different color variations. If you click the down arrow, go to colors, you have, I have a whole bunch of custom ones already in there, but they have a bunch of defaults already baked in. So say I like that paper one, it looks a little bit more muted. That could be the look that I want to go for. Maybe let's do aspect, very fall colors there. And now if I want to change one of these colors, I have this new palette as my main theme that I can choose from. Let's say I have a client that has very specific brand colors that are going to be used in this presentation. 
I need to make a custom theme within PowerPoint with these specific brand colors. So once again, I will go to the design tab, go to this little arrow here, go to colors and click customize colors. This will now allow you to make a completely custom color palette for your slide deck. I tend to suggest leaving the first and the second as black and white, classic, simple colors, always good to have. Something I do appreciate with this is you can just add the hex color. You can do either color wheel, sliders, or hex right here. It has some just basic built in. This one is spectrum, which is very similar to the color wheel. It's just a little bit of a different format. And then pencil crayons. Honestly, I don't think these ones are very necessary, but use whatever makes you comfortable. So PowerPoint gives you a couple suggestions on where to place your light and dark colors. So let's say I go and make this one like a really dark purple and maybe this one like a light purple. And this one, you know, that orange is pretty nice, but I want it a little more toned down. This red, same thing, a little bit more toned down, maybe a little darker. Blue's pretty good. Let's lighten it up and tone it down. So you can change this to match whatever. I'm, I'm literally just playing around here. Uh, let's make this one like a gray. This one, maybe I want a really light gray, something like that. Now that all the colors have been changed to the new ones I've picked, there are two more options, hyperlink and followed hyperlink. This may not be applicable to your presentation if it doesn't have any hyperlinks. Generally, people are used to seeing hyperlinks as blue, but you can change it to whatever you want. And maybe you want the hyperlinks to stay the same after someone has clicked on it. So I'm gonna select this hex code, hit Command C to copy, and select followed hyperlinks. Double click and hit Command V to paste and then enter. Now my hyperlink and followed hyperlinks are exactly the same. So here is my brand new custom color palette. All that's left is to give it a name. Let's call it Light Muted Colors. And I am Canadian, so I do put the U in the word color. Let's hit save and see what happens to our slide. There we go. These are some of the new colors. I can go right click format shape and I can pick any color in my new theme to change it to. So say I want it to be blue and this one to be yellow or that light purple color. I like that one. And if I go back into my master, you'll see that this has actually changed the entire deck. Anything that was the regular office colors has now changed to this new color palette. I know this was a starting from scratch kind of tutorial, but I hope you learned something new. Check back soon for more PowerPoint design videos and hit that like and subscribe button to be notified when I launch some more on the channel. I would also love if you would leave a comment below and let me know what you're interested in and what you want to learn next. Have a good one.